What is up guys, I'm Asa Khotala and I'm back again with another video and in today's one I am going to be sharing with you guys some of the things that I wish I knew before pursuing a degree in accounting. So the first point is the inception of it all. Just because you got a distinction in accounting in high school, that does not necessarily mean that you should study accounting in university so if you guys watched um, my previous video on the mindset learn resources that I went through for grade 12 I saw that in the accounting paper they have topics that we do in accounting sciences and you know like corporate governance some financial management courses financial accounting but the thing is it is very different when you get into university um, some of the things actually you have to unlearn in order to learn them again in a different way because it's so different. So in accounting sciences, um, when you get to your second year going forward, you have four majors. So you have accounting, financial accounting, financial management, taxation and audit. Those are the four majors that you're actually majoring in in accounting sciences. So accounting sciences is not just accounting. It's really not. Accounting sciences is all of those four modules and they are just as equally important. To an extent, financial management is actually a bit more even important. Or let me just say equal, but like that's what I'm saying. Like imagine a whole financial management being equivalent to accounting in an accounting sciences degree is what i'm saying so don't think that just because you're excelling in accounting in high school then doing accounting sciences is accounting there's so much more to accounting sciences than just accounting and each of those four modules are as important as financial accounting so i think it just needs to be a passion like properly think about it and what are you good at and what do you actually enjoy knowing something doesn't equal liking something and the thing about accounting sciences is that you need to love it because when the course becomes very challenging for you you need a motivation as to why you are sticking to it or you need a motivation that will get you through it and at that moment because you're not good at what you're doing because you're struggling if you don't like it then it's very easy for you to drop out but if you like it or love it and it becomes challenging at some point, you will stick with it because even though you're not doing well at it, you do enjoy it. So with that enjoyment, it gives you the motivation to keep pushing. So before you do accounting sciences, think about what are the career options that you want to have in accounting rather than just being good at accounting in high school. I'm not saying that because you have accounting and because you're good at it, you shouldn't do accounting sciences. No, do it, definitely. But being good in accounting is not enough of a reason to get you to finish at the end of the day. Because it will change drastically. And like I said, you have four different modules which are equally as important. And having just one out of the three is really not enough. So, in accounting sciences... First year is a bit crazy. It's a bit dear makar. Everything is everywhere. So in first year, you will have a lot of modules in the EMS faculty. Not specifically accounting. Or if you're doing economics, not specifically economics. If you're doing investment management, not specifically investment management. In first year, most modules are the same across the different courses in the EMS faculty. This applies with most other faculties as well. So when you get to first year and you see a lot of things like economics, if you don't like economics, you see business management, you see informatics. If you go to tax, there's this thing called informatics 112. Oh my gosh, right? It's just like, oh my gosh. But I think the whole point of it is because technology and then, but it's just theory, you know, and you know, accounting students, we prefer calculations over theory and INF 112 is just too much. So 
but like that's what i'm saying you are going to have a lot of modules that are across the board and it's very easy for you to get distracted because like it's easy for you to feel like you don't want to continue with accounting but you have to realize that it's not just accounting most other courses in the ems faculty will have the same modules right so the whole point of it is for the like they, they're trying to give you a feel of what the different um courses in the ems faculty are for instance if you have accounting sciences but then you realize that oh as i'm doing my first year i actually enjoy economics so in your second year you can go into economics you know rather than finishing accounting and then at the end you find out somehow that you actually would have done better in economics vice or whatever you know so in first year the modules are dear makar you just need to stay focused in second year that's when the juiciness comes in the mod the four modules that i listed earlier financial management financial accounting audit and taxation those are the four majors that you are going to be doing from second year onwards until you do your honors and then you write your board exams and everything you're going to write them on those four majors point number three a curious mind is an asset in accounting sciences asking why and having the will to learn will do you good a lot of the things that we do in accounting sciences especially in financial management i would say or real life scenario things so if you have a curious mind you will keep learning about what's happening you know in the economy you know what's happening in our country in the world so basically in general the quality of life just knowing stuff like that and wanting to learn like having the need to learn new things and explore that is very important so critical thinking is very crucial, especially in financial management. So you need to be able to think outside the box and allow your mind to think of many different possibilities of a certain situation. Guys, this really goes a long way. You need to have a certain, you need to tune in a, a different type of brain, especially in terms of financial management. This thing of creme pas forget, it doesn't work. It does not work. You need to think and on the spot, if you are like one of those people who quickly think on the spot, you see a problem, you find a solution, it needs critical thinking. So you will need that. Just saying. So as I've mentioned in a previous point, accounting is the main reason you're doing accounting sciences because it is accounting. But financial management is just as important, you know. I did say all of them are just as important, actually. But financial management is usually the one that is a bit of a, you know. If you go to the University of Pretoria, you will start it in the second semester of your first year. I don't know how they do it in other universities, but I'm pretty sure that you have financial management in your first year. Because it's so important. You know, like I said, it's a different type of thinking. And usually when we are in high school or just in, in school, they don't tap into that critical thinking mindset. Usually we're told what to do, you know, and then we just do it. But we don't really think of what we are doing and why we are doing it. And that's where financial management comes in. Guys, if you love to think, you will do well in financial management. If you are a problem solver, honestly, financial... If you guys have these characteristics, I promise you, try accounting out the best thing ever if you are this type of person. So train your mind to start thinking about the impact of the events and situations that are happening in the country and globally. So at the moment, our current climate is COVID-19, um, the looting, strikes. These are just some of the examples of the economic or political, you know, things that, or events that happen usually, or even just once off, you know? So whenever there's something that happens in the world or in the country, look at it and think of the impact of it. So accounting students love calculations. As I've mentioned with the INF thing, we love calculations. But in financial management, they love asking, 
qualitative factors. You must be prepared to fight. You will fight in accounting sciences. That is just a fact. It will definitely get challenging at some point and you might even consider giving up. But it is very important to always remember why you started. Remember in the first point I mentioned, being good in accounting in high school is not enough reason. Besides being good at it, what about accounting sciences do you actually want? And making money is also not a good enough reason because I know a lot of people who are driven by money. But you need to think about it. Like money is everywhere. If you actually are good at something and you enjoy doing something, you will definitely always find money somehow, you know? So like you need to be willing to be okay with the sacrifices that you make. There's going to be so many sacrifices and just making money is really not enough reason to sacrifice your sanity. <laughs> so before you actually get into accounting sciences and start studying it, write down a list and properly think about it. Write down a list of why you want to become a chartered accountant. Because, I mean, if you're studying accounting sciences, you definitely want to become a chartered accountant. Otherwise, why would you, why would you suffer? <laughs> accounting sciences is a CA route. So why do you want to become a chartered accountant? You need to have a list of the reasons of why you want to become a chartered accountant. And at the end of the day, when it starts getting challenging, you need to come back to your list and remind yourself why you started this journey. If you don't have a list, it's very easy to start doubting yourself and even think that you're not good enough to be here. Guys, the fact that you even qualified to study accounting sciences, you are good enough. You met the minimum requirement. So the minimum means you're able to finish. So you have what it takes to see yourself through. Guys, you didn't work hard for nothing your whole life, starting at crutch and then up to grade 12. You put in the work, so make it worthwhile. And it's very easy to forget. It's very easy to forget how talented you are academically when you get to university. It, it gets very crushful at times, but you need to always remind yourself that the reason it's crushing is because this is not normal. <laughs> like it's difficult or it's challenging for a reason. Otherwise everybody would be a CA. Why not? You know, but you need to go under a certain type of pressure in order to come out and be good enough to give other people financial advice, to draw up financial statements, you know, to do tax work, to audit a company. Nobody just does that. So you need to undergo that pressure in order to know everything that it means in a business. Because in accounting sciences, it's like the most that you can know about a business. But obviously, even in practice, you know, you learn more and more and more things because circumstances are different. Company to company, it's all very different. Company to company, country to country, things differ, you know. But you need to have that minimum knowledge. Otherwise, what are you going to do when you get there? You have a CA qualification, but you don't know, you know. So you remind yourself always, have a list. You need to have a fighting spirit. You fight until the end is the motto in accounting. You fight until the end. It's not over until it's over. And even then, it's not over. You guys will be amazed how much just a single test can turn your whole academic life around. One test. So if you're not performing well so far and you're demotivated and you feel like, ah, you know, I haven't been getting it. So what's the point? Guys, you can turn everything around in a single test. A test can even mean not getting your degree versus getting your degree. Because sometimes just pushing in that you, you might even have a sub. And then you feel like, oh, it's impossible. I can't. Guys, as soon as you tell yourself that you can't, you really won't. That's just it. Like, you won't. But you need to, you need to have a positive mindset and tell yourself that 
you know, it's not over until it's over. And even then, it's still not over. There's always the next time. There's always the next test. There's always the sub. There's always the next time. There's always next. It's not over. So picking yourself up very quickly is a skill that you will need to master very quickly when you get into accounting. You just will need to, because there's no time to dwell in your puddle of, you know, feeling sorry for yourself. Everybody is feeling sorry for themselves, but you get back up. You need to get back up. You need to believe in that and you need to believe in yourself. That list, remember. Tell yourself who you are. Remind yourself of who you are. And don't let a test crush you and make you seem like you're not good enough. You are good enough. You are really good enough. A test does not define you. It's a test. It's just a test. Time management. Do not fall behind. Oh, guys. Can I just stress this? I can't even stress it enough. I can't even. You cannot fall behind. There's no. It gets too much. So here's the thing about accounting sciences. Yeah? It's actually not difficult. It's really not. It's just too. With a lot of zeros. T O. Too much work. There's too much work. And every single topic. They do this. They go in. A single topic, they will go in. They will nail it. Like they, they squeeze out the juices out of even the simplest of topics. And it seems like everything is so hard. It's not hard. It's really not hard. It's a lot of topics that are just too much, you know? So you cannot fall behind. You need to manage your time very, very wisely. It is too much work to catch up on all that work. And it is very stressful. You do not, you do not want to be stressed by the fact that you're falling behind. Because it, it, it's, it's too much. Ask for help whenever you encounter challenges. The syllabus, you guys, it goes by ridiculously fast. And you need to keep up to date. Fix the small problems as they arise and you will be good, honestly. Consult whenever you feel stuck. Don't dwell on something for too long, on a, something that a lecturer can just quickly fix. Consult. Okay, this point is very important as well. Some of your friends and or family members might not know or understand exactly what you mean when you say that accounting is hard or challenging rather they're not studying accounting it's hard to explain because someone have you ever like come across someone who has gotten their degree and they're like oh no like you can just go out like i just passed you know because you know even going out and but like you guys are not doing the same degree do not compare yourself when you get to university you guys you shouldn't compare yourself with people especially just with anyone even people in accounting because some people are just good at stuff right but most especially people who aren't doing the same course as you and the same year do not listen to them when they say oh no i passed you know i even got my masters i got my honors i got my masters like you know like you can just you just need to juggle guys so, ugh, you need to sacrifice some things sometimes and at the end of the day, school is your number one priority. When your parents wake up, they wake up to go to work. You wake up to go to school. School is your work. So you need to treat it as a priority. Your parents are not just going to like call up your boss and be like, um, yeah, I don't feel like coming in today just because I don't feel like it. So you can't neglect your school just because you feel like it or just because your friends are having fun. It doesn't make sense. You're, you're working here. You know, this is your nine to five. You've clocked in. So they might not understand what you're going through. And they don't need to because they honestly can't really understand unless they're in the same boat as you. Your friends, some of your friends might understand, but sometimes they might not even understand. It is your own boat. You need to protect it. Otherwise, you'll sink. You will need to learn very fast that you need to put yourself and your academics first. 
because there's a lot of distractions going on there's a lot going on your friends are having something your family members are having something whoever's having something it's it's too much and sometimes you feel like ah you know i mean you know but at the end of the day you need to know that if you did not prepare enough because you went out and you did certain things will you be okay with your results at the end of the day because you can't regret things that you just willingly put yourself in those situations you know so be careful on your regrets and try to eliminate unnecessary things because you'll have your fun you know i mean after writing i'm not saying that you can't have fun guys you you should have fun definitely but i'm saying that if you know that you have a test next week why are you going out you know you're not you know you're not ready you can study this whole time write your test and then when you're done you go out you know or you do whatever that it is the plans or whatever i don't know but just prioritize have your fun but prioritize the next point make notes and good notes you will definitely need these for the rest of your accounting sciences career i know specifically for taxation for me um taxation and auditing making notes is so important especially especially taxation because the legislation is just a lot you know like there's just too much going on and everything is here it's there so making good notes will go a long way for you so start from the beginning it will take time definitely but if you start especially in second year with your four majors if you start in second year and you make good notes and then when you get into your third year your honors you just add on to those notes as you're doing past papers and learning more you add on to the notes you see so when you start the notes it, it takes time i know i do understand it's time consuming but even having to recap you guys you will be you will thank yourself so much because you don't have to go through a whole textbook. You're just going through your notes. And because you you wrote the notes, you know exactly where everything is rather than paging a whole book of words and work, you know. And then the last point, mental health. Seek help, you guys. Anytime, anytime in your journey, whenever you feel like it's getting a bit challenging, you know, you, you, you might not know how to manage your time well, you know, maybe something is going on in your family and you just need to talk to somebody. They have these facilities in universities and colleges, you guys, utilize them whenever you feel the need that you need help. Because sometimes we feel like we're strong enough and we can just, you know, oh, okay, let me just suppress that and then... Let me just continue and then keep pushing. But you will break down at some point. So try to eliminate those bad habits by talking to someone. Because sometimes you might not even realize that you're having, you have bad habits. If your test comes back and you did not perform well and you can't really understand why you did not perform well, you might have been studying, you know, you've put in the time, but like your marks aren't as good as you have expected them to be go in and talk to somebody they are professionals you guys they are psychologists they know you talk to them and they might even help help you figure out some things that you didn't even know about you know some things that are going on in your own life and just seek help just talk to somebody they're just waiting for you to consult with them so just go there and yeah talk to them <laughs> should lower expectations yeah so don't you know even if you've done accounting in high school you should not expect a lot to say you know what i know i can do this because i've seen it somewhere you know so then yeah i'll be fine no mm -mm. Uh, you need to be open-minded basically yeah don't have a lot of expectations be an open-minded person uh and uh read read more this is something that you know i'm still studying accounting i haven't you know um went into deep like your honors and whatever but one thing i've learned is you know with accounting you need to be more informative you should know a lot of stuff especially in business 
uh, and stuff like that because the questions you get are general knowledge kind of questions stuff like that you know like um, a normal student would know yeah so if you are that kind of person who watches your steam sum and you know uh, a lot of tv shows but you don't you're not aware of you know interest rates um inflation and stuff then uh okay it's gonna be a little bit hard yeah not hard but a little bit yeah in as much as you have to write your tests exams assignments um you shouldn't be that kind of student who's always looking up i mean looking forward to a test or exam to say you know what i need to finish this i need to make sure that this is done and then you know if i pass then i'm fine no you're not fine you know um accounting is not about passing the test exam or assignment but it's about knowing the work you know um you know one friend of mine once told me that uh accounting sciences it's a test of character yeah they don't just test the knowledge you get from uh you know your university and stuff but they test your character you tend to become a disciplined person if you're not you know uh you know there are a lot of qualities that you get you know so uh it's not just about getting you know that mark that 50 percent and stuff because when a when an employer hires you they don't hire you um because uh you you're trying to show them that you you know how to put your debits and credits correct no you are merely a factor of productivity so they're trying to make money so if you are there and you're trying to show them the textbook and stuff um no you're not going to help them but if you are able to get them you know to get the money and stuff uh, then you're fine yeah so it's it's about uh knowing how to solve basically what they need from you is a person who can solve their problems yeah so if you're able to solve their problems and get them more money then they're good you see so you just knowing how to do the debits and credits is not enough so and you're gonna be dealing with you know a lot of different uh companies Alrighty, you guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not done so already. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. And if you know of somebody who is thinking about going into accounting, share this video with them, please. And, you know, spread the word. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, bye. <laughs> ah, it's so far. <laughs>